Hello people, and welcome back to part 46 of Big Easier, the City's Skylines build guide. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. The uh, compilation before the beginning of today's episode uh, has a little bit of a story behind it. Uh, so on Saturday, there was no build guide episode uh, because we actually had someone taken um, quite badly ill within the family uh, on Thursday. And uh, we were kind of scrambling around over the weekend. So it was just a live stream on Saturday. And uh, I did try to sit down to record an episode but um, on Friday, but couldn't quite keep my train of thought. And we were just kind of, you know, stumbling and stopping and starting. And it just wasn't flowing too well. So we ended up just doing it on the live stream. And we've rebuilt this uh, major interchange that hooks up the two highway networks. So we have this main one that flows through here. This is the original, and we now have this fancy new roundabout interchange uh, that has little slip lanes off to different sides of uh, the, the, the highway over here. Uh, it slips off down here as well into this direction. So it's very nice, it's very, uh, it's very sweet looking, it looks great at night as well. I uh, made a bit of a fuss about the roundabout implementing uh, a walkway here that's going to link the two sides of the downtown. And uh, yeah, it's turned out alright, certainly needs some more decoration around it, and uh, you know we will get to that eventually, uh, hopefully within today's episode. And then we also worked a little bit on uh, expanding out our residential, alongside the beachfront over here, which has uh, some really nice views across the bay. And uh, this real epic looking bridge now from these suburbs is uh, slowly, slowly coming together. But anyway, what I wanted to work on today was uh, this side of the Riverside downtown and what we're going to do uh, to help link these two uh, enormous sections together and uh, hopefully call it a day on the Riverside downtown in today's episode. So let's go ahead and pop off our day-night cycle and we will get going. Uh, thank you for all the support on the Modular Build series as well. Uh, you guys have been uh, enjoying it a lot, which is always good. makes me very happy. So yeah, I, I, really, I really do appreciate the support on that series. Uh, anyway, so let's have a look what we've done. So we've mapped out a little bit of a road network here, alongside here as well. And I think to fill out this section, we've already expanded the um, the IT cluster district, which is what is going to be residing along here. So I think we're going to paint this out, probably up to here, and then let's just go ahead and plop in some nice large office zonings, especially in the middle here, and alongside the back and probably up here as well and uh, there's probably some room for some parkland i'm not too sure how we're going to fill in these uh kind of in a roundabout awkward shapes that we have around here we'll have to do something with them uh, i'm thinking maybe parkland just keep them kind of quite dense because we have gone for quite a green theme uh, within the downtown there's some nice kind of like park assets over here and then uh, the little lake as well so it already is quite a green little spot so we'll probably keep it like that uh, but we will have to wait and see so uh, over on this side here, this is what I wanted to work on today mainly, was um, a riverside or a waterfront residential area, I suppose. So let's go ahead and paint something out. Um, let's grab a district to fill in here. Let's grab it all the way through. We've also got some really nice walking paths along here as well. Uh, so that's going to help people get across to each side of the major kind of downtown structures um, a lot easier. And they're also I think, uh, hooked in to some uh, cycle paths in this side as well. Uh, so that should certainly help with the traffic. We also have this slip lane here. And I think what I want to do uh, is actually go ahead and place in a toll booth here. So if we do uh, the two-way toll booth, we should be able to hook him up. Let's have a look where we're going to come out here. Okay, let's afford to knock him back a little further. So let's grab our two lane highway and we'll bring him just underneath the bridge. That should give us enough room to clear it. Yeah, there we go. So there's a little toll booth that's, um, you no, know, because this is acting as a slip lane under the highway. So it kind of makes you avoid the, the busy roundabout and having to fight all the traffic. You can just pay uh, a small fee to just slip through on and, uh, and go in that direction. So let's hook this guy up. Let's go for kind of a little road like this. So let's, let's go for a smaller one. Let's have this one here. And then we'll come out this way. We'll hook him up and then again we'll do some nice kind of parkland around this. That'll look really nice. Yeah. So this district that I painted out, I want this to have the 
self-sufficient building specialization because this guy is going to be nice and green and look really great up along the waterfront so let's get some uh, some housing in along here again i want to kind of stick to the major squares here again if you've seen the recent episode of the modular build we're going to be kind of playing with some nice uh, customized green housing today which will look really sweet up along the waterfront i think so uh, let's kind of plan some of this stuff in here uh, let's get some smaller ones right up along here yeah, they are covered by the district and probably up along here as well. Let's make sure that he is uh, captured within this new district. And we're going to have a nice park front uh, along the water as well, uh, which was actually named uh, Gold Bay Park um, in the live stream. Okay, so this guy needs water. Let's, uh, let's hook him up. Bring him down to about here. Wonderful. Okay, so we've got some of these nice cute little flats are starting to appear in now. Uh, so let's kind of work on uh, what we want to have kind of along here. So we probably will make this kind of an official city park by uh, giving it a main gate. So let's go ahead and drop in uh, one of those. So I think the the main gate, like the large one, is a little... No, it's a little too big, I think. So we'll probably go for a small part main gate. And we'll place kind of one of these at each road intersection. So we'll have one down here as well. And up along here. And probably alongside at the end there as well. Okay. So these guys will need power. Let's uh, see if we can give them a very temporary connection. Cross over this little walkway here and hook him into the semiconductor plant. Whether or not that stays or not, I'm not sure. We'll just kind of leave it and uh, see how it develops. Okay. So again, we're just taking the time to see how the part land develops. Uh, I'm going to have all my snapping off and use my freeform tool. And I'm going to go for uh, a nature reserve path uh, through this little district here. Go ahead and cut through some of these buildings. We may have to delete some of them. Yeah, we'll just cut through there. That's fine. And then let's just correct some of these zoning squares. Make sure we don't get anything too awkward generating. Okay. So some park assets for the waterfront. Let's see what would be nice here. I think certainly a park plaza. Now there is a limit as to what we can reach with the key in the way, but we should be okay. Bring this guy as close as we can. I would say about there. Cool. Okay, and then I think for the main path that's going to flow, we are going to stick with the uh, path with decorations, and I want this to be quite rigid this path that's going to flow along the front here. I think we're just going to kind of hook him up to uh, each line. Let's make sure our snapping is on. Let's bring him down here first. Just like that. I know he's actually going to connect up there a little bit, isn't he? Okay, that's fine. Let's bring this guy in uh, just just a touch and then that's going to stop him connecting up from that side and then people won't be able to get in for free and then again we'll have something similar along here let's bring this guy out very nice okay let's see what other assets we can place in here uh, we'll probably have a cafe in as well. That would be quite nice to have at the front here. Uh, possibly a restroom too. You know, it's kind of mix and match your assets now. We've built so many parks within the city. Um, it's pretty easy just to get them all in. And then we'll probably have a pier in as well. Let's go ahead and paint out our park area. To include the key so we can place some piers in. That should do nicely. And then, uh, so we have pier 2 and pier 1. We'll probably go for 
here too. It's a little bigger. That should be okay. Yeah, so we have some really nice looking like little flats here now. Imagine nice little like downtown waterfront city flats. They would be uh, pretty expensive to live in. You know these things aren't aren't particularly cheap. Uh, let's have a look at some unique buildings that we can possibly factor in here. Uh, we do now have the locomotive halls unlocked, uh, which would be nice to include in this part of the downtown as well. Perhaps over here, uh, kind of in and around uh, all this rail that's going on. Okay. And then perhaps some nice big blocks of high-density commercial to fill in here. We've got a nice four-deep kind of rhythm going on. And unfortunately, this... Um, this power line is breaking the pattern, so we'll have to find another place for that. But uh, let's go ahead and pop in. So, we also had a whole bunch of uh, appreciation uh, for zoo paths in uh, the live stream, which I really do appreciate. Um, okay, so let's have kind of one on either side. Let's just snap to the grid. Yeah, so everyone was kind of like making um, the elevated zoo paths a little bit of a meme on the channel, which I thought was... Uh, which I thought was pretty funny. I do appreciate that. So we'll have some zoo pass linking these guys through. And uh, yeah, let's bring this guy over here instead. Just like that. And then hook him up. Okay. Uh, so what's some more unique buildings that we can possibly squeeze in? Uh, we're saving the clock tower for the suburbs on the other side of the river, don't we? We will be using that. And we've still yet to use uh, the Grand Mall, which is a little disappointing. It would be nice to uh, to have this thing in somewhere along here, I think. And kind of here is uh, ideal, isn't it? Right next to the metro station. Okay, so I think we'll do that. Let's delete this road here. Delete the path and then this little block is going to be where our grand mall shall sit. Uh, okay, so let's have a little look see. Let's bring the power line back across. Everything will sink through eventually, don't worry, that's temporary for right now. Okay, so let's have a look around. So, this is obviously a pretty important building, you know, it's pretty massive. So, I want this to have kind of its own little quite dedicated you know, little garden around it, I suppose. We'll probably have some zoning along here. We've got a nice big four block, and that's going to sit nicely behind this elevated walkway. Again, this links back into the roundabout that we talked about at the start. But yeah, also, guys, um, Matthew Howard recommended that we do um, kind of a high-density endgame traffic fix episode. Uh, we currently have a huge backup on the traffic on the highway right here uh, for no reason. As you guys can see how it flows, they they stop. We've tried upgrading into four lane here. It hasn't fixed it. I've tried traffic monitoring. So maybe you guys can help me out a little bit here um, as to why our traffic is slowing down so much. Even, I've even tried deleting this one here. And then, you know, they just want to switch lanes. That's all they want to do. They just want to switch into this inside lane and it stops them from flowing. Like there isn't actually anything wrong with the road network. It's just um, being a little bit awkward and a little bit difficult. So uh, kind of frustrating. Like the Divergent Diamond is handling everything perfectly. You know, this guy is flowing like a dream. But um, you know, these guys here, they're just, uh, yeah, they're, they're backing up for the fun of it. So if anyone knows a traffic manager fix for that, uh, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll be quite happy to listen to you guys on that one. Uh, but we will try and definitely do uh, something of a kind of an end game uh, traffic fix episode uh, at some point before the build guide uh, comes to a close. Uh, okay, so I think what we'll do is where's this guy hooking up from? Okay, so if we bring him right around here and then up alongside. We can actually kind of have like a little cute intersection. Let's maybe bring it back here. So the paths kind of interlink with each other. And that should look really cool to have um, P2 
people kind of walking around these big important buildings. That should look quite nice. So again, with the inner city, I think I'm going to continue with the high density commercial. Okay, let's kind of get some nice dense blocks in right now. That's really what I'm aiming for. And then we also need this guy as well. Although is, there, is there a point in this guy being here anymore? Should we just bring him down to ground level? Possibly about there. Maybe. It looks like we can delete the power line now. And then that's going to give us a couple more zoning squares as well. Let's go for some office space in here. Let's go for some in there. And then a little bit of commercial right up along here too. Okay, let's take a little quick look around and see how things are beginning to develop. You know, I want it very packed in. This river, this uh, waterfront housing is really beginning to develop nicely now. A nice little intersection down here too. Yeah, looking quite nice. Okay. So we still have a whole bunch of residential demand. Uh, let's see if we can squeeze in some residential up along here. Now, I don't want this growing too tall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint out uh, an area district just right up along here. Because the, the tall level residential, uh, let, me, let me find some for you guys. Um, see where we look at here. So buildings like this, this one right here, not a huge fan of it. Whereas I do like kind of the lower level um, high density stuff. So we'll just put a high rise ban on. And uh, that'll stop things growing at too out of control. Because I do want, you know, a bit of variation within the height in the downtown. Uh, so we have the summit district. Uh, let's go ahead to policies and then city planning and then high rise ban. We'll do high tech housing as well. Okay, let's make a little residential block. And uh, that's going to sit in and around this uh, nice elevated railway here. Uh, we'll leave these little awkward shaped blocks free. Uh, and then for wrap along here as well. And then we'll delete these guys. So I'll have that one, we'll delete them like that. And yeah, okay. So that's going to give us a really nice start downtown feel. See, we've got traffic backing up here, trying to merge onto the highway uh, for no reason. So let's see if we can fix this, because this is what's causing the problem, is they are trying to merge into that lane uh, when they really don't need to. So if we can tell them just to go straight ahead. I'm assuming it's just going to morph them into the next stat node. And then right here, we'll have these guys float into where it's merged into a four lane. And we'll see if that fixes it. Yeah, see now they're just doing it down here as well. They are, they are the worst. Let's uh, correct this lane turn here. Um, no straight ahead in this lane. You must proceed straight on. And again, you can see where they do this. Uh, you know, traffic AI in cities isn't the smartest thing in the world. It definitely needs a rework for the second game. <laughs> Hopefully it will. And you can see it just causes this slip lane here to back up. Which is um, excruciatingly annoying. But if anyone knows a fix with traffic manager for that, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'm happy to take your guys' advice on that. Okay, let's uh, continue adding a couple of little assets into our waterfront park here. Uh, possibly a climbing frame in, so we can probably squeeze this guy in, I imagine. Let's have him in here alongside a uh, little trampoline park. Uh, and then maybe. a couple of little gazebo gardens. because we do have a whole bunch of zoning to do in here. Let's have some in there. I actually want low density for this. Let's get some in there as well. Let's delete that guy. Let's have some in there. Uh, and then we'll leave this side free as well. And let's grab ourselves a little bit of a dirt path. And uh, let's have all our snapping off. Let's see if we can make, we should be able to squeeze through these guys, I think. Kind of slow coming around there. And then we'll 
happen up there like that. And then we can do some nice decoration uh, around there as well with some trees. Uh, let's hook up our ferries into this part of the downtown because uh, obviously we haven't really looked at the ferry line uh, for a considerable amount of time. Uh, let's have a little look. So originally we actually built it all the way along here. Oh, don't delete the train track. That would be bad. There we go. Let's just make sure that this guy is going to carry on. So he has a stop over by the port. Let's come ahead and carry him on. And he can kind of come via this approach, I think. And that should be okay for him. And then we're going to grab this stop line here. All the way over. That's going to bring us a nice little stop as he uh, heads back through. So we'll start getting some people arriving into the downtown uh, via ferry, which will be quite nice as well. The transport hub is on fire. Oh no! <laughs> the untold deaths. Although the fire, is, the fire service are very quick to respond. They are, um, although the people seem relatively unfazed by the raging inferno that is ravaging Big Uzi right now. It's fine. If you don't see it in City Skylines, it doesn't matter. That's kind of the general rule of thumb. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got a nice bit block along here as well. Again, I think we'll consider that stacked downtown feel. We'll get some nice paths in here as well. Let's go for uh, a little bit of just a straight park path that's going to flow straight behind these guys. Um, we'll have him cut off down here. And can we hook up to here somehow? Here we can. Okay. That's going to give us a nice way just to fill uh, the gap between these two sides. And, uh, yeah, we're slowly, slowly starting to build up here now. It's starting to look good. Any cars coming through here? No, zero in the week. But I guess they do have this shortcut here, actually. Interesting to see if that actually discourages people from using that. Oh well, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, we definitely need to place some services in and around here. Uh, let's go for um, fire station, police station, and uh, let's see if we can squeeze in a couple of little schools here. I've got Institute of Creative Arts in that bot there. Oh, it's perfect. It works amazingly. And uh, how about a community school uh, to sit in right along here as well? Got some people using the uh, pedestrian highway path right now. It's very cool to see them walking along here. Again, this is so annoying. Like, it isn't moving. But just stop switching lanes. I'll have a look at that before the end of the episode, see if I can figure that out. But again, traffic manager fix, please let me know. Uh, okay. So that feels like a good place, guys, to go ahead and dive into a detailing time lapse and uh, add some nice features to this park front, as well as uh, close in some nice little green areas that we have along here as well, just to help this new part of the downtown uh, feel a little more at home. So we will be right back.
Hey guys, I also forgot to mention this little traffic jam here. It's nothing major, but it is uh, backing up a little bit along these roads here. Uh, the reason this is happening is because currently this is the only road over from this side of the downtown into this side. Uh, so we will definitely add in another couple of bridges across this main highway uh, just to help uh, alleviate the pressure on this bridge. But don't worry about this one. Uh, this will be fixed in a future episode or live stream. Okay guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, a like below is very much appreciated. Equally as much if you didn't enjoy it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. Uh, please, if you can think of a fix for the highway using Traffic Manager, please let me know. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to fix the uh, idiotic AI lane switching, uh, but maybe you guys will be able to help me out with that. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Uh, this area turned out quite nice, and um, I really like the way that this uh, waterfront turned out with the uh, low, with the uh, sustainable housing uh, specialisation. And uh, yeah, the nice little waterfront park as well is uh, seeing a couple of visitors, and it's um, slowly coming together. Uh, next episode, we'll be looking at these suburbs on the other side of the river, and uh, starting some nice stuff over there before moving on to the Liberal Arts College, which will also be quite nice to work on as well. Uh, stick around for this, the actual the Taj, and check out some of the minor details we did kind of in the inner city streets of this new area. And uh, let me know if you like it and if you can have any suggestions uh, in order to help improve this area. Otherwise, guys, I will leave you alone. Thank you so much for watching and all the support recently. I really, really do appreciate it. And apologies for no episode on Saturday. Uh, like I said, there was a family member taken quite seriously ill on Thursday, so things were shifted around a little bit. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and as always, enjoy the rest of your day.